Now that you're familiar with the tools panel, the left panel and the right panel, what we're going to focus on for this video is the canvas, which is this middle area right here. So the canvas is where the magic happens. It is where all of your elements and ideas come together to form your final design. I'm working with the template Figma iOS UI kit again, and you can get this from the Communities um, tab. So if you want to download it, just uh, go to the tab and on the search box, just type in Figma iOS UI kit. And then just choose the one that says free. So this is our frame here. And if I zoom out, you can see how big our canvas is and how many frames we can house in here. So again, you can zoom in by just pressing plus or minus. So on your keyboard, if you press plus, that will zoom it in. And if you press minus, that would zoom it out on your canvas. All right, now you can also pan around the canvas by using the hand tool or by just holding down spacebar on your keyboard. And if you'll notice, the cursor will turn into a hand and at that point, you can click and drag to move around your canvas. If you click on the name here, you will see a blue outline and it will show you how large the frame is. Inside the frame, there's another frame and you can double click it to rename it if you need to. Let me just uh, zoom into one of the frame here and um, I'll just hold down control or command key and choose this photo here. I'm also gonna add the shift key and select this other photo. Now, whenever you have a grid pattern, you will have this pink circle and line here. And what that does is if you click the circle, it will let you swap their places or adjust the space between them. You can also adjust their size together by dragging the corners. And you can also do the same with frames, just like so. Finally, if you have an element selected, in my case, I have this frame selected, you can hold down Alt or Option key and you'll notice the cursor change into a double cursor, indicating that we will duplicate this frame. And when I click and drag to the side, it will duplicate that frame along with all of its contents. So it is really a good time saver and it works with other elements too. So that's Figma's canvas. Whenever you work here, there are a lot of ways that can help you work faster like what you've seen on this video. Aside from that, there are also keyboard shortcuts that will make it easier for you to navigate within the program and we will learn those on our next lesson.